time. So they may look for a witch to say, we want you to do this against Bishop. Or they may look for an entity, an organization. Are you hearing me? Yes. This is why we don't sleep. We cancel things in the spirit. Amen. So people don't even understand this. So you wake up in the morning, the bank will just be mad at you. So we want to we wanna take your, your car. But like, what did I do? What happened? You must understand this, that they are prosperities monitoring. And all they do is to assign different things to do something to you. And these prosperities must be dealt at different levels. So you cannot approach them at a certain level of prayer. Hello? You must understand this. There are different levels of what? Of prayer. So you'll be sitting there like, oh, I'm just grace. But hear me, the truth is, the enemy is monitoring. Did you hear that? So the enemy is monitoring. That's why when they're, you have to be monitoring as well. Because where you, you need to appear, you must appear. Amen. And where you need to do the opposite. Oh, yes. oh, you didn't hear me. <laughs> you need to be very careful. Because there are people out there assigned to finish you. Are you hearing me? There are principalities assigned to finish you. Before Jesus was born, a principality was already assigned. The day he was born, Herod made an order. Kill all the kids. Hear me. It was an assignment by principalities. They were closely monitoring the birth of Jesus. Right now, they are closely monitoring your, your calling. They are closely monitoring your ministry. They are monitoring your business, your marriage, your relationship. They are monitoring you. And they can send, the principalities can send their demons. They can send anyone or anything to come after you. Are you hearing me? Are you understanding what I'm saying? You must be very careful. This is why this teaching is very important. Now, number one, let's go to this. The first level or the of, of prayer would do with the intercession level hello the intercession level it is a level which in the which craft world in Satanism world, becomes the opposite. In the church, we have intercession. In the kingdom of darkness, they have got witchcraft. Witches and wizards behave like intercessors in the church. No, am I talking to you? No, am I speaking to you? The intercessory prayer which you may pray, you as a believer, it is the same voice of an evil woman or evil man that they speak about you in your absence. Intercession it is first level. It is a level in the spirit where God uses you with a burden. You develop a burden towards something. You want people to be saved. You intercede for them. Now you see the opposite? In the darkness world, they don't want people to be saved. You don't want accidents to happen. You intercede against accidents. Did you see there's an opposite? In the dark world, they want accidents to happen. 
Did you see that? So, first, an intercessor, or when you are standing at a level where you want to make an intercessor the prayer, you must know the first person to crash with in the spirit. You'll be dealing with a witch, a wizard, or a satanist. This is why most intercessors, they will pray together, they will fast together, but not for th five months, six months. They normally begin to fight. Because the first thing they don't understand, they are dealing, they are dealing, they are dealing with witches, wizards, and satanists. And they have been dealing with intercessors from the days of Moses. And they know properly how to deal with them. Moses, his own brother, Elon, and the medium, rose up against him. Because they were dealing... <laughs> they were dealing with wizards of Egypt. Men who could also go for frogs. Men who could change water as well. The moment you are in intercession, intercession helps you to plead to God what you want to happen in your life, your business, and sometimes you pray. God makes you an intercessor for the ministry. Are you here? There are many types of intercessors. We'll not talk about that now. The teachings are not about types of intercessors. It's about levels of prayer. There are types of intercessors. We have personal intercessors. Those who intercede for themselves, for their businesses, for their families, for their children. They intercede for them. Those are personal intercessors. Then we have family intercessors who pray for their families. Could it be their family, for their sisters, for uh, our family. They, they, if, I, if I call right now, if I say, uh, what do you want me to pray for? They will not say for themselves. They will raise pictures for their aunties. For, for, and they don't even know who they are. But in the spirit, they are grouped as what? Family intercessors. And we have ministry intercessors who pray for the ministry. If you say pray, all they think is to pray for major one. All they think for is to pray for ECG. To pray for the ministry. And we have regional intercessors, country intercessors, people who pray for nations, the regions. We have different types of intercessors, but the all way we are looking for here is intercessor. Whether personal, family, whatever it is. It is exactly how in the dark world things are. They are family witches. Oh, you didn't hear me. Personal witches. Who it is that person who has an issue with you. And then we have regional witches. Which monitor the whole region. Who is doing well here. Who is progressing. national or country witches and satanists who are making sure to oppress because we are back in the days according to the book of revelation the book of revelation the bible said we shall go back in the days of egypt we are back where they will oppress god's people and make them work so hard without pay and the church will be like oh i wonder why i i work so hard you need deliverance somebody say intercessor, intercessor. say it again say intercessor. intercessor we are back in those days the bible says in a city of sodom and gomorrah 
and in Egypt, where our Lord Jesus Christ was crucified. And you, you read in the New Testament, he wasn't crucified in Egypt. But the Bible says in the book of Revelation, when the Bible is talking about the last days, how the enemy would want to oppress. And the Bible says, but for those who shall overcome, shall be given a rod of iron. So we're living in the days where people must overcome. Are you understanding what I'm saying? And when they overcome, people will see their glory. They'll have a rod of iron. The rod of iron was not given to people in, the, in, the, in those days anyhow. A rod of iron was given to wealthy people. It's for overcomers. No, am I talking to somebody right here? And I want you to hear something here. Intercessors, exactly what I'm speaking to you. So when you, when, when, when you are an intercessor, personal as a person, whether for the ministry, whether personal or for your family, you must know the first enemy you are crushing is a witch, a wizard, or a satanist. Just have that in mind. There are people in your family or there are people in the region who have been imposing curses. Words of witchcraft speaking and they are under influence. And God is electing you to stand in the gap and refute those words and reverse them. Whether on behalf of the family or your church or the region or the country, whatever it is, but God is raising you up to stand in the gap and refuse and break. God will never raise an intercessory person if there's no witchcraft, satanism in the place. If God is raising people to pray for major one, it means there are people somewhere who are cursing him in the spirit. There are people somewhere doing satanic rituals against him in the spirit and God will raise up people all over the world who will not sleep as well and plead the blood of Jesus over major one's life. Oh, am I talking to somebody right here? So intercessors are you hearing what i'm saying it's a level it's a level so you you, you sometimes so there there are things sometimes when you are praying like this you sense witchcraft you say no 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 i need now to go into a level of what intercession because that's where i'll crash witches and wizards So when you, you sense things happening, you need to change a level of prayer. From just saying, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, oh Father, I pray, I pray that you bless, oh Lord, oh, oh Lord, oh Lord, Father. I, no, you now move to intercessory. Do you hear me? Whether you begin, you know that people just, Father, I pray, I wish my brother can be saved. You just wish. You just wish. Do you know what is happening in the region? Your brother has been monitored and has been picked in the demonic list. And there are people who kiss and speak words against your sister, against your own mother. And, and God is looking for somebody who, through intercession, can deliver the sister or the brother or the mother. So in this case, we need you as an intercessor. To use, no, 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 no. I will spend this day in prayer to deliver my sister or my brother. Somebody say levels of prayer. Part one. Are you still following? Are you still here? Ask your neighbor, are you here? Are you what are they saying? Yes. Ask them again, are you, are you here? What are they saying? Yes. Are you here? Yes. So if you get into this level, you'll be dealing with what?
us go to the second level. The second level is called observers. Jesus. Matthew 18, verse 10. Take heed that you do not despise one of these written ones. For I say to you that in heaven there are angels always see the face of my Father. Who is in heaven? Take heed that you do not despise one of these little ones. I say the truth that in heaven the angels always see the face of my father. Who is in heaven? Oh, this is scary. Very dangerous. This is very dangerous. I have to repeat this statement to you. That statement over there is very spiritual. Very spiritual. The Bible says there are angels. Report to God what happens to the children. Did you hear that? What happens? The angels an observer in the level of prayer. It is where now you begin to get informations and report them. Do you know why? Do you know why? Sometimes, do you know why you're having such a big problem in your marriage? Because God wants you to observe and report. But guess what? People just keep on crying. Some say observers. Say it again. Say observers. How many things are you observing? The Bible says the angels, they don't do nothing. <laughs> they just what? Observe. Take information. All they do is to look at the face of the children and they get information. If you want to connect in the spirit, connect like that. If one time I was talking to Bishop, I said, you see, if I may ask a person, they will lie to me. But not their angels. Oh, I'm a, Angels behold your face. No, you didn't hear me. I said, if you want, if if I want to know about you, I want to summon you. I summon your angel. I didn't hear me. I summon your angel, and I talk. We talk. Not you. You you lie. <clears throat> I'm saying the truth, but your angel will not lie. So if you want the truth, summon my angels. No, you talk. I think I'm joking. Try tonight. Just say, Father, I pray. May I chat with the angel of major one? You, you will chat. He may not appear tonight, but definitely one of these days he will appear. Because sometimes he's on timetable. So you will be disturbing my angels. <laughs> when they're coming with a breakthrough to me, diverting them to you. Are you hearing me, somebody? <laughs> now, read again the scripture. Let's go back there. See it again. One, two, three, go read it. Let's read it together. One, two, three, go read. Take heed that you do not despise one of these written ones. For I say to you that in heaven there are angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. 